Hello, welcome to the Maya Tobel. This is Michael. In this video, I wanted to go over the curves menu command for open, close, right here. I'm just gonna break this off and kind of explain what this means. Okay, so what I like to do is if we go to create nerves primitives circle. So this gives us a circular curve that is a nerves primitive object. I'll just hide the grid. Now if hit control A and open up the attribute editor for this curve, you can see here that the form of this curve is periodic. If we open up this menu, you see there's three settings, three different options you can have. Open, an open curve, a closed curve, and then a periodic curve. Now the main difference between closed and periodic is that a closed curve can have a detached tangency while a periodic curve does not. So the best way I can kind of explain this, first of all, so you see this curve is selected and it is a periodic curve. If I choose to say, oh, this is a closed curve, it doesn't actually change it. You see if I deselect it and select it again, it's periodic again because you're not actually changing what kind of curve it is. It's showing you what kind of curve it is. You can't change it here. I can't say, oh, this is an open curve now. And then if I click it again, you didn't see it here. It says, no, it's periodic. You can't just change it and it makes something happen. So this is just telling you this is a periodic curve. Now, if you want to make it an open curve or a closed curve, as opposed to periodic, you can do so. If you go to these curves menu, there is the open closed command like we're talking about. Now I'm just gonna go into the settings here and say edit reset settings, just to make sure I have my default settings. And I'm going to check on keep original. So what keep original means is that instead of doing the open close function on my existing circle here, it's going to duplicate the circle and then apply the open and close command to it. Therefore, I'm keeping my original circle intact, okay? So I'm gonna click on the open close button. So you can see here, now I have a second curve that it, had, it has opened my curve. So I'm going to select this new curve and you see here the form is open. So this one's periodic and this one is open. So how do you get a closed curve? Well, maybe I select my open curve and tell it to be closed, right? So I'm gonna to go to curves, open, close, click it. And you can see it made a new curve that has now closed the, this curve here. And you can see it, it doesn't do a very good job of keeping that original circle shape. But you can also see when I select it that, no, this is a periodic curve. This is not a closed curve. So how do you actually make a closed curve? So the, the command here says open, close. It's a little bit uh, confusing or a little bit uh, misleading. Because yes, it is closing the curve physically. The curve is closed but it's not technically a closed curve. It's actually making a periodic curve. Now, if you want a closed curve, what you actually have to do, let me duplicate my original circle over here. I'm going to right click on it and choose curve point. I'm gonna click anywhere on the curve. It doesn't matter where, you can click anywhere on the curve. And then I'm gonna to go to curves, detach. So now that I've detached the curve at that point, you can see here I have a closed curve. The tangency of this curve has been broken. There is a physical seam there, and I have a closed curve now. If I right click and choose control vertex, you can see here what's happening. So even though I detached it at this point, let me zoom in here. If I start moving these points around, you can see here I can, I can pull that point off. There's a detachment there. like so, and so here I can have like this really sharp corner. So this is, uh, I've selected the curve and pressed three to get my smoothest curve. And so you can see here, because I have a closed curve, I, have to, I can get this really sharp corner, but there is a seam. If I click on this point and move it, I do open the curve up in that sense. If, but if I select the curve, though, you can still see it says here, this is a closed curve, okay? Undo that movement. Meanwhile, this is a periodic curve. 
If I right click and choose Control Vertex, you can see my spans here. I can you know, try and mimic that sharp point. And, you know, I can make it look pretty sharp, but if I actually look at it though and zoom in, you can see the curve is still smooth there. The, the tangency is still being maintained. I'm just trying to get kind of this sharp point to it. It's not quite the same as the tangency actually being broken as it is here. So literally this is a sharp, you can see here as I zoom in, a sharp 90 degree or what more than that uh, change in direction for the curve. It's, there's no smoothness or roundness to that point at all. Meanwhile here, if I zoom in, you can see, you know, while this is obviously a very sharp turn, it's not a sharp point. There still is some sort of curvature and tangency to that point. The tangency has not been broken. So this curve is a periodic curve for that reason. This curve is a closed curve for that reason. This one is open, okay? So those are your main differences between closed and periodic. So just so you know, if you go to curves, open, closed curve, the result you get from closing a curve, like this one, does not technically give you a technically closed curve. It gives you a periodic curve, like this one, the original curve. The periodic curve, again, has a smooth tangency throughout. It's not going to have, like this curve does, the closed curve. It's not going to have this break in tangency. In order to get that break, you have to actually choose a point on that curve and detach it, and then you have a closed curve. It's kind of it's kind of hard to wrap your head around. It's the the definition of closed essentially should mean this curve does not open like it can, but there is a difference between periodic and closed, and that's the that's the best way I can explain it, I think. So with that in mind, let's uh, start over here. Go to a new scene, all right, and we're going to go over curves, open, close. So just know again. Close, if you close a curve, it will give you a periodic curve and not a actual literal closed curve. Okay? All right. So, create. NURBS primitives. Circle. We're going to stick with our circle for now. And I'll hide the grid again. So this is a periodic curve, otherwise physically closed. It is visually, it is a closed curve. There is no opening anywhere on this curve. Okay? So if we want to open it, we would need to go to curves, open, and then like we are, we have keep originals turned on. That's why we have a second curve now, and now we have a open curve. All right. So I think I think we're pretty straight on that. Let's go now into the settings for curves, open slash close, and look and see what we can do. So again, we're edit reset settings. Resetting it does uncheck keep originals. I'm gonna turn it back on, and now we have our shape setting. So the shape is ignore, preserve, or blend. So if we choose ignore and hit apply, you can see what happens here. You can see, because I have keep originals turned on, we can see the difference in the shape. With the ignore shape option turned on, it really does not try to keep that circular shape at all. It kind of blows out the opening here, like so. So that is ignoring the shape. It's just opening the curve without really having any consideration for the original shape. And you'll notice here also while I'm, while I'm uh, thinking about it, this does have history. So if I change the shape of the original curve, the resulting open curve also changes because it's using this uh, original curve as the basis for its shape. So there is a history connection there. Just see. So Complete that. So now we have preserved, that's what we had before. Hit apply, it opens the curve up, but also attempts to preserve the original shape. So we still pretty much right there on the line, copying the shape of the original curve, but is simply opening it. Then we have blend, and if we choose blend, it does open up the blend bias setting, and also the insert not setting. And if we turn on insert not, we also get the insert parameter setting. So we definitely kind of cascades in the settings that uh, are available to us using the blend shape setting. So what I want to do is delete these and let's go to create 
curve tools, CV curve tool, and I'm just going to draw out a shape like this and hit enter. So this is the curve that I have physically drawn, and let's say we want to open slash close it. And because it is, you see here, an open curve, when we apply our settings, it will attempt to close it. So let's first look at ignore and hit apply. So you see there it closed the curve, ignored the original shape. You know, it's mostly the same throughout most of it, but then it does kind of go off a little bit here. So again, let's select our open curve, let's choose preserve and hit apply. You see here that it's pretty much right there on top of the original one. It's just closing that line right through here. So it preserved the shape really well. And now let's try blend. And again, we're going to use our default blend bias. Hit apply. First select it, hit apply. So now you can see a bit of a, a big difference in the shape. It really pulls down here and it closes it. And it has a bit more of a circular shape to it. And as we adjust over here in the Astro Editor, our blend bias, you can kind of see what's happening. It's pulling back toward the original shape or not. We can also turn on blend not insertion, which is the same as insert not. I think insert not probably is a bit easier to say than blend not insertion. So we're inserting a not, okay, with this checkbox. And now if we had adjust our blend bias. You can see it's a little bit closer to the original shape. So we're inserting a knot, which, which means we're adding points where necessary to try to maintain that shape. And we're blending, the blend bias is, is like which direction, which side of this curve are you wanting to favor when it comes to preserving that shape. And then the parameter, you can see here as we adjust this, gives us some different shapes as well. As we go below zero negative values, you can see there's nothing there's nothing that happens here. It kind of is acting like there is no insert not. Going back and forth with the blend bias here with a negative parameter is as if we didn't do any not at all. It kind of does the same thing. Let's turn it back on though and go above zero. So it's a positive number and now you can see boom we've inserted this point with the blend not insertion. And now we have this between zero and one here of the parameter of how that point is being added and how it changes the shape of the curve. Okay, so this is insert not and the insert parameter. You know, I know they give you these settings when you're originally applying the open close curve, but in my opinion, you really don't know what you want until you get in here in the attribute editor and actually make those changes after the fact and see the result you get. So what I typically do when I'm actually using these tools for real is I'll keep everything defaults essentially and then over here on the right side I'll then I'll start adjusting these things. You can see here this preserve shape and we have the pull down menu we can choose ignore, preserve, and blend just like before. If we choose ignore just like in the options easy grayed out, choose preserve or blend and start messing with these different sliders. So yeah, that's essentially the curves menu, open, close command. Now typically, I usually am not too concerned about the shape of the curve when I'm trying to close it. I'll just say close it, you know. And again, don't forget it also just, get, it does not give you a technically closed curve. It gives you that periodic curve shape as opposed to an open curve. If you have any questions about the difference between open closed and periodic, feel free to comment and I'll try to elaborate. But in any case, thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you later.